pipe and we make a hole underneath the road bed and then we'll come in the distance there where the guys are x-raying that's our that'll be our drag section and they'll come over and they'll they'll put that pull that pipe through to the other side so each road we come to or each river or anything that's not just cross country we'll have a we'll have a bore section sometimes they're bored other times on some of the roads that we're coming through are going to be open cut so like some of the the dirt county roads we won't do this process we'll just come we'll block the roads off on each side each, each side and we'll we'll come through the track holes and we'll just open cut we'll close the road down for a little bit open cut they'll have the the road section already welded up they'll set it in we'll backfill the road and then we'll go on about our business here are some signs that you know, see this it says entering wetland and all this flagging we have uh, our environmental crews and our survey crews get out and they locate all our lines they locate the extents of our right-of-ways various colors the flags mean various things other colored flags just entering the wetland and exiting the wetland or special uh, conditions environmental conditions that we have to adhere to in those areas so we've had a lot of guys a lot of folks out doing a lot of preparatory work prior to anyone even getting on the right way once a week. exactly where they're at in the in the line. Ground. 
wire box. How long does it take to do a roll? About a minute, 30 seconds uh, per pass. So about five minutes. Total in all, about five or seven minutes if you're going to weld it out from the start to finish. Well, you got two heads burning on this, stacking that, that wire in it, that one little bit of wire in it. It, it puts the wire in it. Yeah. That's 625 wall. We have uh, six programs in it. So number six is your capital program, number one being your bead hot pass. Second is your hot filler, third is a filler, and you have fourth and fifth that are strip passes. There, that's a cap right there. That's a very, uh, very interesting process. What's the next step after you get it, get this done? When you get a cap, Pull the floor to move it to the next one. Um, the guys that come around, what they'll do is then they'll coat these joints. Yeah. This, this, this pipe's not coated. They'll bump these welds off. They'll get to you. The coating will come through. Plastic coat. This is ready to put in. Right. And it gets tested. And uh, yes, it'll be tested. tested. Well, it'll be x-rayed or, or UT before it's ever started. How many wells will you do in one day? Uh, a 10 hour day? I figured on this job we're probably going to average about 90 wells a day. So, 90 joints a day. So, a little over a mile and a half. Yeah, a mile like and 6,900 feet or so. Is that per shack or? No, there's going to be four shacks. Right. You'll have your bead shack, your number two fill shack, your third fill shack, your fourth shack will be a capital shack. So this shack, if it was the, the bead shack, if he do his, then he'd move on to the next joint, and then the next shack comes up, and does the fill, and so on to the fourth shack, does his cap, and then they just keep moving down the line doing that. At a very high, high speed pace. It's time. Uh, them, them, them helpers that work in these shacks, they got their work cut out for them. Right? If you can sculpt them and mold them to where they know what's going on in here, they can move right along. Yeah, you can have trouble in one shack.